What's up, guys? So, it's been a while since I've done anything with, uh, my cats are going ape shit. Anyway, it's been a while since I've done anything, so I figured I would show you guys and ladies out there what I've picked up here recently, uh, going to Goodwill and garage sales and that sort of stuff. I don't get to do it often, but every once in a while I will, and I'll go out and find something, uh, pretty damn interesting. But this is kind of a collection of what I've picked up over the last couple of months. It's not much, but I did get some really cool stuff, and I'm going to save what I think the coolest stuff for last. So, the quick and easy. Um, <clears throat> I just found out that close to me there's a second in Charles, so I went there, checked it out. Um, games were priced okay. The records, you know, didn't really find too much that I was into. I did pick up one, but y'all aren't here for records. So, uh, Dreamcast controller and a VMU. I don't see those around here that often, so when I do see one for a good price, I'm going to go ahead and pick it up because, hey, I want four controllers, so, you know, buddies and I can play Power Stone with four people. That should be pretty sweet. It's been a long time since I've done that. So, that's it. Dreamcast VMU. Done. What else do we have? All right. I don't normally collect PC games, but considering this one was in perfect shape, and one that I've never played and I've always wanted to, um, Under a Killing Moon. If I remember right, this was the one that has, um, ah, crap, what's his name? Dancing on the ceiling, god damn it. Um, yeah, that guy, you know who that guy is, who Dancing on the Ceiling. Christopher Walken, yes, he's the opposite of Christopher Reeves. Christopher Walken. I've seen a lot of video of it. Check it out if you get a chance. I couldn't pass it up for two bucks. So, but hey, that means I get to play with DOS Box. Yay. I'm excited. Anyway. I uh, picked up a PlayStation game. And I really don't care about this game at all. I've never heard of it. Don't know any about it, anything about it. But... Striker 1945. I did not pick this up because of the game. I picked it up because of this little guy right here. See that? Blockbuster. Yeah, it's the, the old Blockbuster case. So, yeah, that was the only reason I got it. I will probably put it in my PlayStation at some point and check it out. But for right now, I'm just kind of stoked I got something with Blockbuster on it. Still looking for some movie cases and whatnot, but hey, those will all come in time. Um, let's see, one more thing before we get to the really, really cool stuff. I picked up a Tony Hawk Ride skateboard. Chances are I will never use this or plug it in. And uh, this was the PS3 one. So, yeah, I just think it's kind of cool to have. I might try it one day and uh, hurt my fat ass, but you know what? I'll have fun doing it. I'll need liquor first, but it'll happen. I might record it. I don't know. So, off to the cool stuff. <clears throat> At a game store in the state over, I actually picked up a TurboGrafx-16 Yes, I do have the controller and the um, I do have the controller and the video adapter. And if you don't mind, this little piece just comes right back off. And power adapter, you know, plugs in right there. That's for the uh, the CD or the add-on. And um, yeah, I don't have any games though. So that's the thing. Um, I did pick it up at a brick and mortar. And luckily, I did pay less than an eBay price for it. So um, I'm super stoked about that. Um, if you're ever in Mississippi or Alabama, check out uh, Play and Talk. Um, really good guys, that, guys and girls that work over there. So, yeah, definitely check them out. I can't say their game prices are kind of up to date because they're not. Their, their game prices are a little expensive. But their systems and all their other memorabilia, they do have pretty good prices on those. So if you ever find yourself in one of those two states, look them up, check them out. It'll at least be worth your time to go out there. 
Now, the really cool stuff. So, I was gifted this by one of my wife's uh, friends that she works with. Um, they found it after years and years of years. They've just been chilling in a bag in a closet. And this is the Sears Sports Center Telegames Pinball Breakaway Box. Now, from what I could tell from internet researchery, is that um, there were a few of these made, um, and th there's really not much to them. They're essentially glorified pong boxes. Doesn't even have breakaway controllers. There's your two buttons on the left and right back here. And on the front, you got your knobby poo. So, and with this is a lesson. When you are storing electronics for a long period of time, always, 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 and forever take out your batteries. I have not yet had the chance to try to clean this up, but even if I did, I honestly don't know if I could get it back working at least with batteries. So now I gotta clean all this crap up. So, yeah, and if you were a uh, 90s kid at all, you'll recognize those batteries as being 1990s, maybe late 80s, Energizer and Duracell, respectively. Either way, I really can't wait to hook this thing up. It didn't come with an AC adapter, but I've asked around, and apparently um, you can use an Atari 2600 power adapter, and I do have one of those. So, one day, I will try that out. Now, this is a cool one. Nothing to do with console games, but mobile. A race against time, split second, five electronic games. There we go. Now, I want to thank Goodwill for having this. And I also want to fuss at Goodwill because they wrapped packing tape completely around the center of the damn box that is in pristine condition. If I tried to pull this off, it would just, it, it would rip the cardboard and it just wouldn't be pretty. Now, this is the device, the LEDs on it are red. Click, click, up, down, left, right, whatever you want to do. And based on looking at the contacts, I don't think this thing was ever used. Not once. Not freaking once. And still had the, uh, the protective cellophane or stuff. Came with the uh, little brochure for other things that Parker Brothers made at the time. The Merlin, the Wildfire, Bank Shot, Stop Thief. You know, neat stuff like that. And the Parker Brothers warranty card. And, you know, AC adapter that I could order for $8. I highly doubt. No, they, they wouldn't have this. But I think it'd be fun to ship it in just to see what would happen. That out. It has the manual. Nothing too amazing there. But it's the condition. I honestly could not believe that I found something like this in a condition like it was in. I mean, this is damn near new from the store. And this little guy, I don't know what it stuck to originally, but electronics do not drop. Fair enough. Be safe, kids. Don't drop your electronics.
Well, so that is, that's really about it. I don't have too much more going on right now. I'm going to try to get with Jeremy uh, later this week and uh, hopefully record some stuff because there's been a shit ton of game news out there that I have completely missed. Well, I know about it. I just haven't had the time to talk about it. Um, so, yeah. And there, there's also the other shit going on in the world that, well, this isn't going to be a political channel, so we're just not going to discuss any of that. Anyway, guys, that's about it. If y'all found something cool, let me know down in the comments. Either way, I'm hoping to be making a lot more of this sort of thing. Maybe not pickups, but at least stuff about games and uh, that sort of thing fairly soon. I have a game in mind that I think I want to review, but I'm not 100% sure yet. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great night, evening, day, whatever it may be from the time you watch this. Thanks. Bye.